Thank you, sir. As the adage goes, technology cheats at the right moment. I am sorry for the delay caused. It it is said, punctuality is the soul of business. But I will stick to my timings. From now onwards, I will take forty minutes. I will take forty more minutes. and thank you very much uh, govindraj sir for the uh, generous introduction yes, thank you sir before we'll start our introduction let me make myself clear um, am i audible to you yes sir audible sir and your screen is also visible sir uh thank you sir now it's uh, 125 i'll take 40 more minutes from now onwards no problem and before we introduce ourselves to the basic part of communication skills as uh, the as in the introduction that was very well deliberated regarding communication skills we need communication skills whether we want communication skills or whether we do not need we, we do not want communication skills but we need communication skills have a look at this uh, definition communication is defined as the ability to convey or share ideas and feelings effectively. If you could communicate your ideas, thoughts, feelings in the language, you are said to be fluent in your language. But when it comes to mother tongue, we are very good at it. Most of us, may not be not all of us, but most of us. And at the same time, mother tongue is okay. What about other tongue? This is the crux of our discussion. Have a look at this. Why uh, the need part? Have a look at this need part. Verbal communication skills are ranked first among a job candidates. Must have skills and qualities. And mind you, this is the this is one of the credible sources. So two parts. Number one, your hard hard skills and soft skills. Among your soft skills. Hard skills, anyhow, the students are uh, from the wonderful college, from the prestigious college, MNR college. The students are able to gauge the language, knowledge, with special reference to your subject. You have good subject at your disposal. But when it comes to presentation skills, presentation doesn't mean PPT presentation, and presentation skills include all in all situations expressing your thoughts feelings opinions sharing your thoughts feelings opinions in any given situation there are two things to be noted number one creativity number two communication skills since you have come after so many filters of uh, interviews and of uh, written tests like MSET and all. You are bound to possess hard skills, your subject knowledge. And when it comes to communication skills, have a look at this. Uh, I deliberately blocked the name of the channel because I don't want to denigrate, their, denigrate them. Have a look at this spelling. DAIS days is the correct spelling, but there is an error in it. When it comes to writing, Indians are said to be very good at, but have a look at this, there is an error in it. So we must learn from errors that are committed by the others. And have a look at this. Uh, I'll, I'll be very brief. Have a look at this wonderful description by a woman. Look at anything. She, she ordered something to be purchased by her husband. She said onion, small size, round shape, 
and how they sh it should not be how it should be how much have you look at this uh, description of communication skills methi height less leaves green one bundle how much whatever it is needed have a look at potato medium size how much have a look at this arrow and no eyes are green something 1 kg how much and have a look at this palak good leaves no holes have a look at this have a look at this this is the ability to communicate brevity clarity what do you need what do you want how much do you want what you expect the other person to respond this is the basic crux of communication skills and sometimes i am not criticizing everybody here again i am not criticizing any profession or anything but if it if it were to be like this you don't understand anything at all and whenever usually we whenever we come come across communication skills we simply say we simply think that communication skills is the ability to speak up it's not it's not that communication skills include four skills as your uh, english teachers always say l s r w listening speaking reading and writing i i came across this wonderful quotation asti kashchit vag vishesha which means if there is any relevant or important which you need to say you only say this that is the crux of your communication skills think of it is there anything that that needs to be focused or is there anything important that you need to focus on listen to or speak or read or write this is the basic point of communication skills as part of these presentation skills when when a candidate a person is said to possess good communication skills number 1 if the person communicates messages without being misunderstood this is the first point that means clarity clarity number 2 effective you may be you may have clarity all whatever you speak may be clear whatever you may speak is very well very versed very well versed but it may not be understood by all people it may be full of jargon technical language it should be understood by all people this is the second point effectiveness next one is you the, the person who possesses good presentation skills or good, good communication skills should be able to communicate and switch time and time time and again from formal communication to informal communication and again vice versa then you are said to possess language mastery or command as now just now i have informed you lsrw listening reading speaking and lsrw listening speaking reading and writing these are receptive skills or these are expressive skills along with this another important thing which will be so much useful in your lives is body language which will be understood by the interviewers you will be gauged in your interviews by the way you speak by the way you address the interviewers by the way you sit your confidence levels everything will be understood just by looking at you whether your stance is good positive or not whether you are nodding for the question or not or everything will be understood then comes your functional english we are speaking of english only then next to do this to develop a few bits tidbits of communication skills number one point we are expected to possess or learn is this can you hear me yes sir okay this is amas amat victoria curum which means victory likes preparation that means whether you may possess so much knowledge so much 
information so much wisdom but unless you prepare yourself well, well for the battle whether it is interview whether it is group discussion or any part of your career maybe for your promotion this is the old adage 2000 more than 2000 year old adage which says amat victoria curum which means victory loves preparation unless you prepare yourself very well to win over the interviewer's hurt to win over the examiner you are you are going to cut a sorry figure there so preparation is the first part and for this preparation these are to be you know them very well whether they are to be reduced whether they, whether the uh, how much time you are spending with them how much time you are spending with these tablets and tonics you know very well and i want answer from you 1 is equal to 5 2 is equal to 25 3 is equal to 5 4 is equal to 45 5 is equal to how much this is the question and i want answer from you sir actually we muted all people sir for uh, avoiding that's okay yes. that's okay uh, 55 sir that's okay sir thank you and for the interview for the interview number one point to be noted thank you sir thank you for your answer and what we teach usually is 5 is equal to 55 is also correct very good sir and the second answer is also correct when 1 is equal to 5 5 is equal to 1 is also correct and the for the number one advice number one tip is when the question is asked in your interview may not be questions like this may be questions like anything including your subject questions related to your subject just only wait for maximum of 1 to 2 seconds then give your answer your answer will be perfect this is what i want to inform number one this pre preparation part is even if you know the answer very well just wait for 1 second wait a maximum of 2 seconds your answer will be perfect because within those 2 seconds your mind clarify it clarifies itself and it will be full of clarity and next point is to be noted is develop the habit of reading whether it is the hindu newspaper or any other national newspaper develop the habit of reading and learning from the world why i am informing you is this this word is it's not leven ping it's a z ping the name of the name of chinese premier some 80 years ago news reader who could not read this word lost her job she was suspended for 6 months because she pronounced this as leven ping mispronunciation of someone's name is disrespect to that person so since she could not read this she lost her job so develop the habit of reading by apportioning a few minutes of your precious minutes to reading next point is vocabulary i while since uh, you are muted i'll give you very brief time so that you could think of it you, you could think of your vocabulary so that you could be ready for your answer and what do you call this in what do you call this in english i am only speaking of english again in telugu we call jada what do you call in english okay somebody right Yes, you people right can now, answer answer right. in short very, very good, and I cannot expect answers from you. Just uh, be yourself, be with you. Just if you know them very well, that's good. In braid, Raina Ahmed gave correct answer. Good, better. It's uh, in English. Uh, in British English, you call it plate. In American English, you call it braid. Both are correct. Whichever answer you possess, that's correct. 
this is only for you and somebody gave also plate yes alvia iram you also gave the correct answer beta next question what do you call this usually we call in telugu we call glass or something jambar so many things and just think for yourself i'll give you 2 seconds okay good very good raira ahmed again very good we knowing good good if you know them that's all if i'll give you answer it's called tumbler you may have know it it's called tumbler now this is called we knowing basket and we knowing turpara battadam we say in our telugu next when some two things are similar what do we call them when two things may not be same but look similar yes somebody shalu rani also yes r s yes, rani also gave uh, we know incorrect answer switching to this word when two things look similar may not be things any 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 points they are called look alike both of them look alike we say okay somebody gave answer smile okay have a look at this what do you call this part as similar okay we call this as parting of hair and these are all the things that may or may not be there in your english subject yes is it partition of hair or way okay way you are referring to this word okay that's okay that's good and what do you call this how do you describe this activity maybe in a single sentence just try have a look at this usually this is called mother tongue influence this is called mother tongue influence usually we say head bath but in english standard expression is washing hair babe he is washing his hair she is washing her hair mother is washing baby's hair this is the standard expression in english okay what do you call you, you must have come across so many words like this so many counter options like this what do you call this in english what do you, how do you call how do you pronounce this word what do you call this in english is it gate or iron gate or how do you pronounce it gate okay gate gate iron gate okay in english this is called turn style you enter in you turn around and you go to the other side this is called turn style and you come across when you or uh, when you want to purchase when you are about to purchase the suits to for you or you come across so many so many plastic figurines like this what do you call in english do you call them dolls do you call them plastic or uh, good rubina jahan gave correct answer thank you beta somebody also gave similar correct answer adil this is called mannequin in american english it is m a n i k i n okay harshita choudhary also gave correct answer R S Rani also gave correct answer. Varlakshmi gave correct answer. Thank you, beta. This is called mannequin. In in American English, it is M A N I K I N. But in British English, our English M A N N E Q U I N. What do you call this? This is all part of our 
daily vocabulary which we use do you call it big spoon or do you call it very good r jahan right right patel p patel right s rani right good very good you are responding very well varan lakshmi correct correct samrin right right dharani so many people good good very good very good but have a look at this spelling this is the spelling yes soumya all of you are thank you very much you are responding very well and how do you explain this do you think that there is an error in it in this sentence in these three words three lines let's say open 24 hours 11 pm to 6 am don't look at the spell check do you think that there is an error in it yes yes thank you varlakshmi yes radhika yes chalu rani yes roop kumar geetanjali yes yes thank you and many more are responding thank you patel responded right this is called ambiguity whenever you come across uh, your interview group discussion be thorough with uh, be thorough with your clarity yes time sabha you mentioned it right krishna velli ro role no right shaukat bhat right yes dharani yes yes here you cannot say that there is an error in it you could simply say that there is an ambiguity when you are full of ambiguity you cannot have clarity so be clarity with your words for example garland is different from read w r e a t h read is offered to the people who are dead and who are no more whereas garland is offered to the people when you want to felicitate somebody when you want to felicitate some 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 people whereas bouquet is used to welcome somebody all mind you all among all of them are prepared by using flowers only but read has special occasion garland has special occasion festoon has special occasion during festivals thoranalu you say so the clarity is important whenever you speak whenever you are about to introduce yourself uh, whenever you are asked to speak something about some incident you could have some sense of humor also for example during pre independence days this was what was written in a hotel in a big hotel in a stalled hotel prior to independence this was written dogs and indians are not allowed such a humiliating sentence for us in those days dogs and indians were not allowed this was what was written prior to before the boards of hotels that means only europeans and english people were allowed and dogs were not we were equated with dogs and somebody like a student like you felt very much humiliated and studied it understood it and gave a wonderful retort have a look at this next quote, next sentence that that fellow wrote that fellow went to that hotel and behind the board he wrote he wrote this that's true only european and english pigs are allowed and after that that quotation was that that was removed and presence of mind this is called humorous creating humorous situations having sense of humor and presence of mind also this is also important during your interviews hope you understood this now my question is this is a rhetoric question what do you mean just think for yourself i don't need answer from you just think for yourself what do you mean by expansion or what do you mean by expand what happens if you don't understand it? what happens if you uh, or if you do not possess clarity this is what i want to inform you what do you mean by expand have a look at this 
if you do not understand the word expand this will happen to have a look at this uh, student who could not understand the word expand now you know the answer for x plus 2 whole square yes more extensive stretch okay x plus 2 whole square you know the answer very well okay and the student could not understand the word expand x plus 2 whole square is equal to you know the answer x square plus okay right 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 you gave correct answer but this fellow could not understand the expression expand the ex expression expand the expression equation x plus 2 whole square he really expanded it instead of writing x square plus 2 x square plus 2 2 square this fellow wrote this and you could yes 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 right right you gave correct answer here what happens what if you cannot understand a single word this is so vocabulary is very much important as part of your life and humor is also important as part of your life inoculation if you want to say something about inoculation you could use using your sense of humor you could explain things and if you do not understand the word bhari bandobast that means large kind of arrangements were made yes elaborate right this is not bhari bandobast actual bhari bandobast is different and you are this is full of uh, ambiguity next pronunciation of uh, neutralization of accent is also important for example have a look at these words and i want you to take a screenshot of this that's all the r r else after once the class is over i'll share the ppt with your organizers in turn they will send you also this word is ku days aroy rapo gear in american english it is lieutenant in our english british english it is lieutenant garas o d u it's the sweet taken before a meal o d u it's not c budwa pizza the words like this are only less than 3 percentage so you don't have to worry for pronunciation at all next comes is correct expression right expression in right place for example in all places you cannot use the word sick sick is somewhat associated the word sick is associated with vomiting it is used in most mostly it is used in american contexts i i i understood so many people use say sick he is sick she is sick so on but sick is somewhat associated with vomiting only usually we say ill health or fever or you will be clear about uh, the ill health of that person and we usually say prepone we usually say prepone as the opposite of the word postpone but the word doesn't exist in english it is advance your time your timings are advanced from 3 o'clock to 1 o'clock yes yes peace swapna you gave correct uh, soumya you gave correct, correct answer beta the date is advanced from 31st to 30th their exams were advanced from march to january that means the opposite of the word postpone is advance and people usually say uh, he he up and downs from hyderabad to sangareddy how do you go from sangareddy to hyderabad i up and down they simply say it it doesn't mean it means that it's not up and something is not down nothing is up and nothing down here it the when you want to say commute the word commute is used a person who goes from one place to another for his or her profession as an employee is called a commuter a person who goes from one place to another daily 
and another indianism this is indianism which we use is respected sir or respected madam in english in standard english we don't use this sir is enough ma'am is enough or madam is enough and another wonderful expression i came across is what is your good name does it mean that i have two names one is good name another is bad name it has come from hindi aapka shubh naam kya hai we translate we are very good at translating we translated from mother tongue to other tongue and it has it's like a spoof gone arroy so what's your name is more than enough okay and make your expression interesting how to do this sometimes you could ask by asking right questions for example if i ask you if i want to say something drive home some important point you could say stay, start by saying who is samantha and everybody raise their hand and everybody knows the answer and then ask them okay do, are you addressing this woman as samantha then you are right to the point you are you are into the directly going into the direction correct direction then tell them no no i am not speaking of this samantha i am speaking of this samantha dr achutanand samantha a philanthropist a benefactor of humanity and who is providing free education to 20000 tribal people in odisha who is also an mla and who is the organizer of kalinga institute of technological sciences who is providing free education right from kg to pg 29 i'm sorry 25000 people i'm speaking of this samantha then they will never forget this word samantha and then you could say if you know this samantha that's good but if you don't know this samantha it's not good for you because you are a student you are expected to learn from this that means you, by asking questions also you could communicate very well and you could then you could you know everybody knows this answer who is bahubali yes then you could say is this bahubali you are addressing yes is this the bahubali you are referring to yes then you could say i am speaking of another bahubali at shravan belgola single rock statue yes right very good very good soumya good correct you gave correct answer at shravan belgola in karnataka that means you are driving home the point directly and correctly and you could use your creativity also while communicating creativity is the inborn innate attribute of primates it's special reference to human beings this with this creativity only you are going to get good job you are going to get posh salary with a good career use your creativity in language also for example this is called mnemonics mnemonics in telugu you call them konda gurtulu or banda gurtulu just by remembering a few words for example in our ear we have three small very small bones malleus incastatus you could see, you could simply uh, memorize it by remembering the first letters m i s m i s miss malleus incastatus you know them very well since you are a pharma uh, pharmaceutical students most of you you could memorize and remember most of the words very well it's like karela versus kerala and be creative and by recounting some incidents also by recounting some incidents also you could explain your improve your presentation skills from now onwards i am going to be very briefly explain very briefly explain some very few stories i challenge you to recount these stories to your near and dear maybe your sisters maybe your brothers mother father or to your friends also so you could improve your language and you could gauge your gauge yes uh, ch ramakrishna you gave correct answer and this is the this is the story of a girl the story is who is the most beautiful woman 
in iran there used to be a small girl who always would say my mother is the most beautiful woman on this earth unfortunately one day her drunkard father her drunkard father poured yes peace om ya mother teresa right you are also right and these are called open ended questions whichever answer you give your you, your right in some sense and this rhetoric question in iran as i was recounting this incident there was a small girl there was a little girl who used to, who always used to say my mother is the most beautiful woman on this earth and unfortunately her drunkard father poured acid on her after for 3 months for 3 months even she lost her one of her eyes she could see only with one one of her eyes after 3 months of incessant suffering she was brought before her mother and and she was asked who is the most beautiful woman on this earth she kissed her mother and said my mother my mother is the most beautiful woman on this earth her name is sumaye mehri her name is sumaye mehri in this case you usually do not speak of the moral of the story you don't speak of what you whatever you want to say but you directly leading you obliquely and directly leading to your answer by informing you are not telling the story of somaya mehri or something just like that you are asking a rhetoric question and directly giving the answer next have a look at this and you could say whatever you think of just by showing some pictures also you could improve your language just by showing pictures and expressing yourself your thoughts opinions feelings within one or two two minutes this is a plank that is there in oschwitz it's in poland now oschwitz birkenau it is the place just two days ago we can we completed uh, we also conducted international international day oschwitz day also in oschwitz the then during before second world war before second world war some 6 million jews 60 lakh jews were killed in oschwitz camp concentration camp many thousands and thousands lakhs of people were killed do you know how they most of them were killed they used to cramp them in a single large room they used to shut all the doors they used to shut all the just yes, doors very good very good thank you hitler harita choudhary gas chamber roop kumar you gave correct answer roop kumar you gave correct answer and they used to shut them in godowns and they used to release poisonous gases unable to bear the pain these are the marks of the nails when they were rubbing these planks and have a look at this you are about to explain a pathetic situation in the given very less time this is expected of you in your presentation skills and some by some stories or anecdotes also and you must have seen this movie sally also even in that movie you could see this on a particular day in january on january 15 2009 when the flight number 1549 us airways flight took off at 2 o'clock at night on january 15 2009 because of bird strike both the engines both the engines were shut down immediately chesley sullenberger who was the pilot then he spoke to the ground duty officers who simply said we are sorry we cannot give you any time because the airport is full busy full busy you cannot land in here then he landed into the hudson river and all of them survived how come any guesses 
all of them could survive because on that particular day january 15th the river was not like this it was full of ice floating on the river so all among all of them excluding 155 plus pilot and all i'm sorry including the pilot and all the staff 155 members survived now now you could just think of this how how could you recount this story i recounted within 30 seconds you could recount this entire story maybe within 10 minutes just make a practice this is only an assignment for you and this is the story of karoli tokox you must have come across this word his entire goal in his life was to become an olympic champion he wanted to win gold medal for his country but for him somebody told him that unless you possess this graduation you cannot become you cannot go for olympic champion you cannot become a olympic champion the only thing he knew was he was very good at shooting and he could he, he completed his degree and he became a sergeant and after he became sergeant somebody told him that unless you become a commissioned officer the the person the army personnel below the rank of commissioned officer cannot participate in olympic gold medal championship so he took part in all his he wrote all his uh, examinations to get the promotion and he got the promotion he was about to participate but what happened unfortunately for him was he was uh, while well, he was participating in a raid he was about to throw his bomb bomb he was about to throw a bomb and unfortunately it ripped off it uh, exploded in his hand prominent hand right hand he lost his hand and he was given pay leave for 2 years after 2 years he again came back and everybody applauded for him wow karol takox you came here to applaud for us the national championships are going on unless the national champion unless he participates in national championship yes oh, no no uh, no soumya he was not left hander he was not left hander he was right hander and what happened was after 2 years he, when he came back he was asked yes uh, karoli takox we are proud of you you came here to applaud for us then he said no i came here to defeat you all and become champion national champion so that i could participate in olympic gold medals then what did he do for for those within those years he simply practiced with his left hand day in day out 10 hours a day he practiced with his left hand this is what i was in my first point very good radhika he practiced with left hand radhika you are right right better day in day out what he did was practice our first point was practice mind you and in what happened was before he could come over there in 1944 there were no olympic games because of world war 2 so to win his first olympic gold medal he had to wait for 12 years he had to wait for 12 years this is the story of karol tekox i suggest you to practice this story and recount these stories and this is another story of jellyfish and snail you may have studied somewhere you may have come across this story jellyfish as you know it gobbles up everything unfortunately sometimes knowingly or unknowingly it gobbles up snails also what happens is snail is protected by the shell outside it is not digested by the inside inner juice digestive juice of jellyfish in turn the snail starts eating from the floor bottom part inside out it starts eating snail snail starts eating jellyfish inside out 
after some time there will be no jellyfish snail comes out laughing now to which attitude or attribute to which moral can you associate with this can you answer me by typing in chat box to which attribute or any point you could assign this to okay ramakrishna you are also right okay can i say that this is applicable to bad habits yes vaishnavi don't be over confident uh, you are also right somebody gives snail as answer right you are also right can you ascribe this to yes too much is too bad mamata you are also right can you ascribe this to bad habits okay don't underestimate anything you are also right rup kumar can you assign this to bad habits in the beginning they look good once they are in maybe smoking cigarettes or anything any bad habit yes over content kills you smoking yes good good soumya sachin you are right right yes okay now my point is just i want you to recount these stories so that you could test yourself nobody tests for you you test you could test yourself this is another story known as uh, i'll be i'll be brief i will complete within uh, less than given time to me this is another story rup kumar you are right of arunima sinha one day she was uh, she was a national participant in sports one day she was going to delhi on train some four thieves wanted to take hold of her golden chain they were chain snatchers she she tried to fight with them she was just like that she was thrown out of the rail train and she fell under the rails and she lost her legs and nobody came forward to help her and she was joined in hospital and the case was closed nobody took took care of her and one of her friends visited her and said we are all middle class people we are all small people if you want to be noticed you should be on somewhat higher place at higher place then she took it as a challenge within one year she ascended the mount everest then she was given so many accolades by people and her story for the foreword of her story was written by none other than yuvraj singh who also won over cancer her, her book is born again on the mountain and i want you to recount these stories first female ability to scale mount everest ham hamraz rishi thank you uh, h rishi correct your your answer correct and these are the stories which you could recount to your near and dear your friends maybe mother sister brother whoever whoever you your maybe to test your own communication skills and body language is also very important i have taken only one pic from this just by looking at your body language for your career this is very important to have positive body language positive body language comes with the pma positive mental attitude it itself is a great topic and next part is reinforcement go time and time communication skills is it's not a one day affair it's a lifelong point to be remembered apportioning some of your time to communication skills is very important because we have so much data on the internet av available in fact we have so much flush and thunders of data available with us and when data becomes information information becomes knowledge knowledge becomes wisdom with your communication skills 
your prayers of your parents will always be with you i am pretty sure that you will rock with your communication skills and bring good name to your college to your parents and you will have good communication skills you will you will learn good communication skills i am pretty sure that your teachers must have taught you you especially uh, shanti kumar sir and other great wonderful teachers must have taught you the importance of communication skills and with these few words i conclude i this forum is open for any doubt session if you have if you possess any doubts related to this topic related to this topic uh, i am ready to answer yes students if you have any doubt you can raise your hand i will unmute you you can directly interact with the uh, resource persons or otherwise you can place your questions in the chat box so thank you sir thank you for your uh, uh, wonderful sessions and uh, enlightening our students with the uh, specifically with the guidance uh, communication skills and uh, presentation skills and talking about the importance of vocabularies pronunciations and uh, giving an a correct expressions and the students must be on a very creative and um, talking about that and telling about on a very informative as well as an inspirational stories to our students definitely that will ignite the uh, young minds and the general question sir as it is on a communication skills as we are the professional students so what is the simple methods on day to day life we can implement to improve our communication skills any practice or these things we can do that uh, gradually that our communication skills can increase or improve uh, uh, thank you sir thank you for your generous introduction and your conclusion of covering all my topics within within this stipulated time given to you number one what i personally feel is that sir number one is i advise strongly advise our students to go through any newspaper but i prefer i strongly prefer the hindu newspaper because it covers wide range of news that is one thing second thing is it doesn't compromise on language with special reference to formal language i do not say that others other, i am not demeaning other newspapers but which which is this is what i prefer and i am pretty sure the college such as your prestigious colleges must be offering so many magazines also any topic pick up any topic if you are interested in cricket just go through your cricket uh, cricket column but take one column other than your interest for example maybe editorial column maybe open ed page open ed page column take, pick up any one column that is that comes under your uh, reading part second part is since the students must have all all of them have so soft um, smartphones i advise them to go go through uh, bbc 6 minute english that is a simple app free app that has varied of interests that covers varied of interests that covers so many points and if you are since you are apportioning only 6 minute of your time maybe after most of them commute from hyderabad once they once they ascend the bus college bus they could just they could just listen to uh, bbc 6 minute english next part is that means your reading portion is covered your listening portion is covered next part is recounting stories like this recounting stories like this practicing in english thinking that visualizing yourself visualizing yourself that you are answering correctly you are answering whether your answer is gasped correctly or not this is third part spoken part is covered next part is put up a diary for yourself we are you have so many notebooks apportion one of your notebooks for your diary think think for yourself what you have seen today what you understood the world today 
what you want what are the things you want to explain to the world today just write for one page after one month i'm pretty sure you find yourself to be a different person this uh, this is my advice to the students sir yes thank you sir and uh, another one general question sir as it is that uh, webinar topic is on career guidance so this question is related to our outgoing students uh, so okay as the people are approaching are they going for an interview first times so what what are all the things they must prepare and how they have to approach that interviewer in the positive manner this is very uh, this is an interesting question and really useful to all of your students sir number one they have to visualize as now just have been saying they have to visualize the interview they must think that they are in the interview room now to this question just once they visualize themselves they have to put up positive mental attitude number one positive body language just bend before them just bend towards when when they are answering that means they cannot say just like that they cannot sit just like this while answering their positive body language should also be in collaboration with what they speak that is one thing second thing is before in the first um, earlier part of my discussion i was saying as soon as the question is asked don't rush wait for maximum 2 seconds within these 2 seconds your brain adjusts your answer and sends in a correct sense your answer with clarity so just wait as soon as the question is asked don't rush up that is second point next third point is visualize yourself answering questions visualize yourself answering questions fourth advice is if you don't know the answer don't worry don't worry just simply i'm sorry i'm i am do not know the answer sir these are all the few points which you are expected to learn but visualization is a, such a powerful tool that all the olympic champions all the national champions whoever you ask they are powerful visualizers and it is said that it is said i came across this story that in china in china students people who are 12 year old 16 year old 15 year old 14 year old students will be taken and they will be told only one thing after 10 years you are going to win an olympic gold medal and visualize yourself in 2030 you are going to win this gold medal do you want to wake up at 4 o'clock or not do you want to win that gold medal or not in this way student could exude enthusiasm exude confidence by showing that yes i am the right person to this job do not underestimate yourself as some of your students are very good at answering in chat box i found them uh, very good sir i bless them they are very good at answering they are very good at listening you could exude enthusiasm all the i am uh, giving address, address answer to only to the students you could exude enthusiasm you could show positive mental attitude just by having a just by having some practice that's all this is there is nothing like practice 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 hope i answered your question sir yes sir, sir. thank you sir uh, thank you sir thank you for that wonderful session sir can you please stop sharing your screen sir sure sir sure okay sir thank you sir so now i am requesting our principal dr v alagar sami sir to conclude the sessions thank you mr ra vishweshwar for your wonderful uh, session so our students uh, enjoyed the session very well and uh, really the career guidance and the communication both are important for the uh, students to jump into the career it was very much uh, suppose uh, supportive for the students and especially during this pandemic uh, whatever the tips and uh, that you are given they will make use of uh, uh, for their uh, career 
and the communication line as you explained in a simplified way because many think that uh, uh, communication is a, with english is a difficult task or it is uh, not in our hand but those things we have broken very well and explained in a very uh, simplified manner and our students uh, many are voluntarily are, uh, are uh, uh, that is answering your uh, questions that shows that how uh, sincere our students are so hope uh, if the time permits because you are also staying near by us after this uh, uh, on offline classes we will call you one day to our college and we'll have a whatsapp type so that we can have much more interaction along with uh, mr santhi kumar who is working as a english faculty who is also doing a wonderful job uh, for our students so with these few words i thank you for coming all the way and uh, spending your valuable time to our uh, students and faculty members on behalf of all the faculty members students and the management i thank you for wholeheartedly for your uh, valuable time uh, that you are sharing for our students uh, betterment thank you thank you one and all uh, for uh, joining us so i request uh, the guest person to accept this uh, memento as a token of our appreciation uh, kindly accept it sir mr vishweshwar sharma sir Uh, thank you thank you for your kind words sir hope uh, my session was thank fruitful thank you very much sir and so hope uh, we will try to uh, see you in person in uh, our mnr campus thank you sir thank you one thank you sir thank you i think we can